Hi guys, I hope you are uh, all okay. This is um, again a beautiful session that uh, we are meeting for uh, uh, data analytics as well as uh, of course advanced Excel. So by now focus is uh, you on uh, accountants and uh, business uh, people as well. We've done uh, so many videos uh, but uh, today I want us to look at uh, the concept of uh, forecasting, right? You are there as an accountant, you need to forecast your data. How will you go about it? Using uh, the previous uh, knowledge that uh, we are having on uh, the basic uh, or theoretical part of uh, forecasting. I know you've heard of uh, accounts analysis, you've heard of high low method, you've heard of uh, regression analysis, uh, also uh, uh, industrial engineering method. All these are the methods that we normally tend to use in forecasting. But uh, today, to forecast our data, I want us to use uh, one practical method which is commonly used, which we are referring to it as a regression analysis. So the whole uh, idea of a regression anal analysis basically is a mathematical technique that you normally tend to use in forecasting our data. It has so many components, but our class today will be focusing on how to forecast our data how to interpret the data, and also how to make informed decisions when it comes to forecasting. And uh, remember, for uh, as much as this is open to anyone who is uh, in business, uh, the whole concept also is very ideal for the students who are doing CASNEB, basically business data analytics. And the beauty part of uh, our sessions is that uh, just below this video in the description details, we are having the practice file which you can download and try to follow each and every instructions that you're giving here while you are on your own. That's the beauty part with what we normally tend to do. So at this point, uh, let us jump uh, straight to the data that you're given and try to come up with our forecast. So basically, we just want to establish first of all the relationship between weekly, uh, a weekly uh, ad expense and the weekly sales, right? We are incurring expenses to do our advertisement. So what is the relationship? The more we advertise sh should translate to more sales. And that should, is that the case in our data here? That is what I want us to focus on in our class today. So uh, having our data as it is uh, now, I'll want us to insert our analysis tool, which you can always find it in your Excel. So, if at all you jump uh, straight to your data here, you'll find that uh, I'll be having, uh, if I click uh, my data, you'll find that uh, go to this point. You see this point? I'm having a data analysis tool. If your Excel doesn't have a data analysis tool, worry not. Don't worry. It is very easy for you to insert a plugin of uh, data analysis in uh, your Excel. What you need to do just come to file then you go to options you come to add-ins on this case uh, we want to add uh, analysis analysis tool pack vba then after that what you need to do you just click uh, go then uh, make sure that uh, if these elements are not uh, ticked more so uh, the first one analysis tool pack make sure that this analysis tool pack has been checked then of course if you click ok you realize that this button will appear. You'll be having this case here. So in this case, I want to do regression analysis. Remember, I know it is always a common uh, uh, statement that uh, we are studying this where we're going to apply them in the field. Now, this is a practical area where you can apply regression analysis. So what you need to do, you just come to data analysis. On data analysis, you'll find that I'll be having so many concepts we're having ANOVA, which uh, we did it in our previous class. We're having correlation, covariance. All these are the elements. Today, my focus is on regression. So I'll just uh, uh, go to regression analysis. Then I do what? Then I do OK. So in uh, clicking OK, uh, because uh, this data we had uh, used it before, let me show you something, which uh, assuming you're starting from uh, all these elements, you would be having them. This is basically a default, right? So this is uh, basically a default. A default, uh, you'll be having a default regression as this. 
So uh, what I want to analyze basically is to determine my forecast uh, and also to establish that relationship between our weekly ad expense and our weekly sales. That is uh, what we are required to establish. So first thing first, of course, uh, I need to insert my range, data range for Y. Data range for Y, you'll find that uh, majority of the people I know, uh, probably you might decide to go all through using uh, probably the uh, kind of a traditional way whereby you normally tend to scroll uh, all through, but I'm going to show you a shortcut, which in this case you'll find that a majority will tend to scroll down to establish where they have uh, probably up to the last data, where if uh, at all you go <coughs> through up to the last point, you'll find our last data, but our case aren't us to make it uh, to be very, very simple, and these are we are going to make it to be very simple. So instead of us uh, scrolling uh, up to the last bit, which you'll find that this will take us a lot of time, right? So the easiest way that you can do, we come and select our range. We are starting with the range of Y, so I'll pick my Y. What you need to do in your keyboard, just click Control, Shift, then Down button. Control, Shift, Down button. You'll find that it will uh, take me up to the last uh, data that I require. Then, of course, in this case, I'll do what? I'll do enter. Um, uh, not enter per se, sorry for that. Not uh, enter per se, but of course, you'll just select it to pick your range, right? Then, uh, the other area, I need uh, input for X range. So, my range for X, of course, is my weekly ad expense. So, again, I do just control shift. Mm -hmm. So, you'll find that uh, it will uh, pick my range. It will pick my range which in this case you can clearly see it has selected all our range. So right now uh, we are having, of course, our Y range and I'm having our X range, Y range and X range. Now, uh, what uh, we need to do, I know we've all, uh, whenever we're talking of uh, aspect of uh, these uh, variables here, like uh, confidence level, which I know majority of you probably, you've heard of uh, aspect of uh, confidence level, the default confidence level is usually 55 uh, or rather 95 percent but in our case i'll be explaining confidence level later on in our videos so at this point what you need to do i'll just have 99 basically to increase uh, whatever that uh, we are required basically to do what to have that is in terms of uh, the degree of confidence that i'll be having in my data at this point uh, you'll find that uh, i'll be having aspect of uh, if at all I want it to put, if at all I want to have it on a new workbook, we can have it on a new workbook. Residual is very important for us to put, and residual plus basically to give us uh, our area of uh, our results, which is very important. Now, output range, we can decide to have it on the same same Excel sheet, whereby in this case, I'll just be having it at, uh, say, uh, E, E3. After I'm done with all this, which others can decide to have it on a new workbook, which in this case, we want to have it on a new workbook. Then after I've done with all this, what I need to do is just to click what? OK. So you'll find that it will give me my regression data. It will give me our regression data here, where in this case, I can, uh, let me expound them. I won't use a shortcut because it will expound some data that we don't require necessarily at this point. So I'll just do it manually like this. So you'll find that uh, at this point, it has given us my regression results. It has given us our regression results, whereby I can be able to establish the relationship between my weekly sales and our weekly ad expense. So in that case, uh, maybe just analyzing uh, this data a little bit. I uh, thought there are some videos that uh, we did earlier on in relation to this. Where at this point, uh, I know if you're having a knowledge of management accounting, at least you can explain uh, these variables. So like, uh, for example, I'll want to explain uh, this uh, concept. You can just highlight them um, with any other color. Let us use uh, the easiest one, which is there, which is yellow. So basically at this point, you'll find that multiple R. Uh, anytime you're doing of multiple, multiple R, I know with your knowledge of uh, management accounting, this is basically correlation. This is basically correlation. That is basically our correlation 
that uh, we are talking about r square i believe all of us we have an idea of what r square is okay so whenever we're talking of observation basically that is a sample size that uh, we are looking at where we can clearly observe that uh, what we had there if you can clearly check uh, what uh, we did you'll find that uh, we are having up to a uh, data of 190 and basically that is uh, what you are having uh, on top there that is uh, what you are having in terms of our observations now uh, once uh, we have uh, that at uh, that point uh, basically this one you can uh, change them into values before we go on to that that will be easy so uh, what i need to do uh, first of all of course is uh, to highlight uh, my data here to highlight and uh, i'm going to highlight this area uh, we know very well the shortcut control uh, we can do of course uh, we're having a uh, control uh, one then i need my number in this case uh, we want to use a uh, separator right comma mm -hmm. so that we can have it uh, there i don't need any decimal place that will work a lot that is my data right that is my data so having that then uh, at this point uh, I'm having our sum of square, that is a total sum of square. I'm having a figure of uh, uh, that amount that I'm having there. Then also in addition to that, so looking at uh, MS, basically these are just an uh, estimate of our variance, whereby at this point we normally tend to check uh, sum of square we divide by our degree of freedom. Like uh, in this event, you'll find that uh, if at all I was to determine our estimate for variance, if I was to take my sum of square, which is uh, 27.52, we divide by 1, that will give us our MS here estimate. Then uh, the other item here, we, if you can take, uh, of course, your sum of square, you divide by your degree of freedom, I should be having that. You can decide to do it manually, no worries. You take, say, for example, that, I divide by that uh, that is of course uh, I'm having uh, manually we having uh, that we divide we are talking of uh, sorry mm -hmm. I divide by that you'll find that uh, I'll be having my figure there estimate of error you just control one I'm having my number node decimal plus you find that you just give us the exact figure that you're having here right so basically that's how we are determining our estimate of our errors here that is what we should be having then other key element also maybe to consider after you've looked at uh, that area would be then uh, probably other thing uh, to understand at this level will be aspect of uh, our predicted values now if we can check our predicted value of course uh, in terms of uh, our weekly cells if uh, we can check it out of course uh, i do control shift down so you'll find that uh, basically these are our predicted uh, weekly cells like the way you were doing it in a uh, normal uh, or theoretical where you are taking your regression formula determining the equation and coming up with a predicted weekly cells that is what you're doing it uh, manually or rather let me say theoretically but for aspect of uh, auto uh, maybe using excel or automating your regression analysis you'll find that uh, this is what is going to give us automatically you're also having uh, residuals which will be in line with uh, whatever that you're having as our predicted values so this is just uh, one uh, area of uh, regression analysis. The concept is so wide, which you can always tend to look at it uh, deeply. Part of uh, whatever that will be expected, of course, to cover as we proceed. So maybe after we have uh, understood uh, this uh, case, uh, the other video that you're going to do, maybe it is uh, explaining ANOVA, explaining the significance that you're having here, talking about the standard errors uh, and all these other areas like uh, confidence uh, levels 
uh, this is what we'll be explaining later on in our next video. I believe you've enjoyed guys and I know it really makes a lot of sense for those guys who have done management accounting but if you don't have a knowledge of management accounting some of these things might kind of uh, you might see them as uh, very new you might see them as very very new but it's important that at least we should be able to analyze and understand what you normally tend to do it uh, theoretical and how we can also apply it practically to this point guys thank you so much let us meet in our next session and recall we have our classes for business data analytics both for students and non-students we have classes for advanced excel which you can always tend to join us at any given point in time we also have in aspect of our tax training which you guys you can always be trained on matters to do with taxation so at that point uh, thank you so much you can always reach us on uh, 0708068851 that is our official number which you can always reach us on you can also email us at uh, info at mdarasa.co.ke suppose you have any query any guidance that you need in advanced excel the best persons to reach it is always mdarasa thank you so much guys and let us meet in our next session